All right, this is part two of the Slayer Exciter um, capacitor rise experiment that I was uh, showing before. And I worked quite a bit on this, and I decided that it was not uh, what I thought it was. And uh, it was just a capacitor bouncing. But in the process of doing experiments, I did learn quite a bit. And with the suggestions of some of the people, I, le I learned even more. And uh, one of the things was they said, uh, don't run it at the low, low voltage. Run it on up at a volt or better and see what's going on. And sure enough, if you run this up um, on a AA battery, and that's a rechargeable, at about uh, 1.3, you, you got start seeing some spectacular things. Now, this is the uh, um, spectrum of the oscillator running right now. And uh, I don't know if the camera can see this or not, but... I've got a big spike at about one and a quarter um, megahertz, uh, one at 250 megahertz, one at five. Then there's a whole bunch going all the way down to around uh, 10 megahertz. And Slayer's suggestion was to take the probe and run the probe up and down the coil, and you'll see hot spots. And sure enough, that worked real good. So let me show you the the uh, hot spots here as I run this this uh, probe up and down here. You see these big spikes coming off of that. These are the high spike frequencies of the oscillator and you see there's one big one at seven and a half which is where Dr. Stifler's uh, self-running exciter is running but I got multiple multiple frequencies coming off here and uh, this is a very interesting oscillator and it does the same thing that I've shown before it'll it'll do this off of a glass of water here just like the other oscillators and when you run it at uh, this amount right here a little over one volt you do get uh, 27 LEDs lit up full bright like that and once they're on full bright I can pull the uh, pull a resistor on the circuit right there just take it off and it'll run without a base resistor and those uh, LEDs are on full bright <coughs> without a base resistance at all now I increase the uh, super cap to a 20 farad from a 10 farad just so I can show this uh, run down. And I'm going to disconnect the battery right here. And I'm going to show you how this will run down just like a normal capacitor. And it keeps right on running down. I, I'm not sure why I was getting the, the cap bounce before. But this is, this is a normal cap discharging. Now the oscillator is running. You can see the oscillator is still running at all the different frequencies. And those will shift as this uh, cap voltage drops down. But this is normal. This is how a normal cap would, would discharge. And I'm going to show you the uh, lights here on full. Now I'm going to turn the potentiometer all the way down so that those go off. Let's see if I can get them to go off. Well, they weren't going to go off for a while until this goes all the way down. Let's see if I can get it. There they go. There goes the voltage on the cap going on down. You see how it's bouncing around? The reason it's bouncing around a little bit is I've got a feedback through the system through here that feeds the energy back into the system. So there is a, a bounce that does happen on the capacitor um, when the uh, thing is discharging down. See that bounce? It just bounced down even more. Turn this back up. Watch this drain on down. It drains on down. Going down pretty fast. I'll turn this down. You'll see it slow down and bounce back up a little bit. So it's very interesting, and this thing that Slayer showed me by moving this uh, probe up and down the coil really helped me see where these oscillations are happening. And that was very helpful to see where these frequencies are and to be able to uh, get a bead on uh, what's actually happening here. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with people that uh, my uh, self-running oscillator doesn't self-run, but it does do some interesting things. and. Um, it's doing the same thing that a normal sec would do, only it's doing it at very low voltages. Now that's you know going down toward one volt here, and it's still running. I'll let this go on down. I'll show you where it stops. It stops at about uh, 
half a volt it running on down you can see the oscillations are still happening there at the different frequencies and it's a compounding waveform I'll show you the waveform here it's kind of a weird looking thing it's almost just like a sine wave put this back up for the the um, frequencies I found this real handy this uh, function here to be able to uh, look at the uh, frequencies on this this to me was very handy and there it's down to about uh, 8.3, 8.4 see how that's bouncing though this is a capacitor bouncing and uh, especially a super cap like these big super caps they have some very strange characteristics and I, that one that I was using that 10 farad when I got this down around five and a half volts it just sit there and bounce up and down up and down and it would still light an LED now this one right here you can see that or not it's still running these LEDs really bright those are on just about full bright way down at around uh, seven and a half volts and I'm still getting a wireless uh, wireless effect off of it too so this this is still doing its thing at below one volt anyway that's what I wanted to show folks today thanks for watching like I say my uh, self-running uh, recharging oscillator I don't believe I was getting anything from the environment or anything else it was just a cap bounce thanks for watching